The low water level in the Kern River also means a higher chance of wildlife ending up in our backyards. And that's exactly what happened this morning at City in the Hills. 23 ABC's Christine Dinn tells us how a bear wound up up a tree. It was a very exciting morning for residents of City in the Hills. It's not every day that you have a bear come to your house. <laughs> It all started around 8.30 this morning when the resident who lives in that house behind me says he came out into his backyard and found a black bear in his backyard. The bear then ran out through this lot and up that tree where it stayed for two hours. Fish and game officials believe it's the same bear spotted at the Rio Bravo golf course last night. I have two kids and if they're playing outside to run into a bear would obviously not be a good situation, so it's concerning. The Department of Fish and Game eventually had to tranquilize the bear to get it down from the tree. If a bear in Bakersfield sounds familiar, that's because last May another bear ran through two schools in East Bakersfield and into a nearby apartment complex. That one was also tranquilized and captured. Back then, we asked fish and game officials, why Bakersfield? Bears will go a long way for food if they're hungry. Uh, more than likely, it followed down the Kern River. Uh, on a year like this where it's been dry, they're going to seek water to seek food, and it probably came, came down the Kern River channel. The bears in both cases were released back into the mountains, where they will hopefully stay, at least for another year. Reporting from Bakersfield, Christine Den, 23 ABC.